Hi everyone, I'm Hoop Hildenbrand. Thanks for tuning into my channel, Hoop Hildenbrand Guitar Academia. Today we have lesson five of the course on about Turkish classical music. And this lesson is about string bending, pushing and pressing. So let's get right in into the endless ocean of music. <music> different approaches which will enable us to play all these microtones and in particular the microtones of the Turkish classical music which is our subject here and um, just one 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 thing to think about is that what we are calling microtones here is actually just these tones which are not in our 12 tone system. If you look from another perspective, for example, from the perspective of Turkish classical music, you would not call them microtones in a way. They are just the tones you are using. So, um, But for us, we call them microtones because they are not falling into place uh, with our um, 12 tone equal temperament. So it's actually really a, a, a thing of perspective. So for playing microtones, from our perspective, we need some extra um, techniques to be able to play them because our frets and our whole instrument is designed only for enable us to play the 12 tones of the Western system. But in, uh, in in, uh, it's actually an advantage we have by being able to manipulate the, um, the strings directly. It's a huge advantage we have um, to the piano, for example. That piano, you just have these keys and you just can play these notes. But we actually, it's, it's, it's quite a complex instrument in, in comparison, you can say, because you have different ways to reach these different tones. And of course, it's a lot of work. You need a lot of practice, but I think it's really worth it. Okay, there's a PDF file you, you can download. You find a link down in the description below. And you can download it from my website, guitar minus academia.com and what I'm doing now today now in this uh, lesson I will just go through this page so maybe you don't need it to download it just depends maybe you want to have it as a re reference or you just follow the page see for yourself okay so it's about the technique of bending pushing and pressing the strings to reach um, these microtones. And the first, the first um, approach is bending the string downwards. You may wonder a bit why this is an advanced lesson, because you know this anyway. But let's, let's, let's go through this very you know, slow, very uh, how do you say, um, <laughs> in a slow pace and really um, make, make it very, very, very clear to us. Because later on we, we need these, these techniques all the time for these microtones. So be really uh, precise and clear about them. So bending, of course, is just we, 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 um, we take a note. <laughs> can bend, for example, half step. And more, for the microtones, more we don't have to bend. Because we are just reaching the microtones always, when we bend the string, always from, the, from our tone, what we have in the 12-tone temperament, equal temperament, and we 
we'll just bend it to the next, to the microtone we need up. We can't bend down, so we always go below and bend up. And if it if it, it it's it's going higher than a an half step, than 100 cent, of course we are going higher to the next fret. So remember, we don't need bendings which are more or exceed a half step. With these bendings. We have to be in the, in, when we play these microtones, we have to be very quick. We are not doing this. We are not, we are, actually we are almost never doing this. Almost never doing this. Instead, we are just directly, we go directly to the note. And to do this, we don't press the string like orthogonal to the fretboard down and then we we bend it no we directly go over the string and bend it in one go that's important to really to really go directly to our fretting or um our um, fingering the note is already the bending, you can say. It's, 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 one, oops, it's one move. So keep your fingernails short because they will otherwise disturb you doing this. And the same technique, the same thing is, is, uh, is true for, for pushing the string or for, for bending the string um, upwards. So if we do if we do this, we, we already are starting under the string and our fretting is actually, is, is actually the, um, the bending together. So this is, a, this is an important technique because when we later play like that it sounds, we, we, we try, our goal is that these microtones, they will sound as if we have these extra frets there. So we, we try to not uh, show the work we are doing, you can say. <clears throat> okay, and the, the sign in notation for this uh, technique is a Z. And this Z, I'm sorry, this is coming from, 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 is it from a German term, um, meaning Seiten ziehen. Ziehen means actually, in English, it's bending, technique of bending. So you, mostly you find in, in other uh, books and uh, you, you find the, the abbreviation, just a small, or like a capital B for bending. So in this course, it's a Z. And it's the same for, for upward and downward bending. It's the same uh, letter. And the reason to bend down or up is, is mostly um, what comes before or what comes after or whether there are open strings which we want to have. For example, if we do like this kind of thing, We have to bend downwards the C sharp here because otherwise we would touch the A, the A string, which are which we use as a pedal. Okay, so this is the reason why. Um, I mean, they're always like they're they're. Um, it's not about oh, it's easier this way or it's easier this way. No, we need both actually. We need both possibilities, up and downward. Um, bending because uh, the, the situations are, are different. Okay, 
Now, we have a, a, a very cool, uh, cool thing most of you, I think, don't know. And this is, uh, this is a way of actually lowering the note. It's just one way, one way. Maybe a little, little strange technique later, I'll show you later. But there's actually one way we are really using and we really need um, to make the note a bit, a bit lower. And this technique is pushing the string towards the bridge. What we are doing is we try to um, we, 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 we uh, let our other fingers help here also. I, I, I show this um, here on E for example. We have an E. We play all, we, we take all the fingers on the string and we don't, we, we try not to press too hard. I, I tell you later why. That's also a technique. The pressing means you're making the string, the note higher. But we try not to press too hard. Just what we are doing, we take the string and try to, to push it in this direction. And by doing this, we make this part of the string from there to there, we make lower because we push it, we push it together and this, this gets more, um, more tight, of course, in a very uh, small degree. But listen what, what, what we can do actually. We can play this note and then... So it's very... You can play, you can really push this very, very low actually. Or. So, this is a very important technique for, for making notes, for making tones just a bit smaller. So, if you, if you have this. Um, this page here from, from lesson four, and you see these, these, uh, these cent uh, numbers, and it's just here, for example, minus one cent, uh, 1.89 cent. So the, the A in relationship to the, the root here, E, is just in this Turkish system, is just almost two cent lower that's almost nothing, and you can later on maybe you can ignore it, but it's good to know that it's like that. You can make the A just a bit lower. I mean, maybe if your guitar is a bit out of tune anyway, I mean, a guitar is not a perfect instrument for, for being perfectly in tune. I'm sure you know this, you have a lot of trouble actually with. With, with some some chords and some things to to to, to make them uh, sounding good. Um, so there are there are some tuning some some intonation uh, some intonation problems anyway. So maybe your A is already a bit too low, just two cent. It's it's very little actually, but. That's, that would be the technique to, to, to make these adjustments. If it's like minus uh, six cent, for example, you can really use this, this technique. Even if it's like, like 15, minus 15 cent, um, you, can, you, can, you can do it. You can, for example, you can play something like this. I play E, F sharp, G, and I can play it in our system, in our equal tempered 12 tone system. <laughs> I transfer this thing to the Turkish system, I have a, an F sharp which is a tiny bit higher, it's like four cent higher, and I have a G, so the F sharp is actually the ninth comma, and the G is a thirteenth comma, which is almost um, six cent lower. So what I can do, I can bend the F sharp a bit, very little bit, four cent is just almost nothing, and then I can lower the G a bit by, by, by pushing it in the direction of the bridge. 
I can also push the string in the direction of the nut. This makes the string, of course, higher. And mostly I will not really do this because then I can, I can bend the string. But it helps with very small, uh, very small uh, distances. So, for example, here, E, the, the F sharp is just 4 cent higher. So I can, I can, it's maybe easier to, 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 to push it a bit in the direction of the, of the nut and not, not bending it. Because bending, I'm, it's easy to, 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 um, to move too much, to go even higher than what I actually want. So with, a, with this pushing towards bridge or nut, I, I reach very small uh, distance and more and more uh, precise, you can say, because the range is much, 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 um, much more narrow, actually. I can, I, which, which I, I can uh, change the pitch. So with this um, example, I can, I, can, I can push the string the, a bit in this direction the G in this direction. So I can do But we will, of course, we will uh, go really into depth with this stuff. And this, uh, this comes from Busselig, from minor. We will cover this later. Um, all right, so these are um, these techniques. Then we have another technique. It's pressing the string. Pressing the string towards the fretboard. And by doing this, if we do this, if we press our string towards the fretboard, actually it will not touch the fretboard. It will just touch these two frets. So we have a little play, you can say, a little distance. We can, we can press the string even further to the fretboard, to the wood, you can say. And by doing this, We also make this, the, the note higher. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of muscle work we need. So, in uh, in practicality, we try to avoid it because a lot of muscle work is also make us a more uh, slower um, in combination with other things. But sometimes it's it's really cool to to press press a string a bit to to get um, to get this uh, this little little distance to, to the uh, next microtone. So we can do this here also, E, F sharp, instead of and G, lower. For example, this pressing really works great if we do a hammer-on thing. So we have different possibilities to um, to raise a pitch to reach a microtone, and there's just one possibility pushing the string towards the bridge to lower it. And another one, I, I told you, there's another one, but this is not practical at all. This is more like an effect. For example, if you've seen Burr Frizzell, a great guitarist uh, playing, he's like, um, sometimes he's pushing and pulling the, the neck of the guitar. Be careful by do, when doing this, but you can, of course, You can you can do this. You can keep the string, the the the, the um, hold the guitar here or here or how, however you, you wish, and then you can bend. You can push the neck forward and you can pull the neck backwards to raise the pitch. You can work this out for for chord, or giving a kind of a, a chorus or phasing or whatever effect, but. This is just to mention. I mean, of course, you can also 
press the string here, but then at the same time you can't really grab the string. Okay, you can maybe you can you can do that, or you can maybe push it here, or you can you can do that, or you can detune your guitar to reach these microtones. But um, these are really really second best if it if you want to combine combine the, the 12 tone equal temperament with these microtones to just enrich the 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 um, the, um, the the colors the color um, I, I, I mean to get just more colors to 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 play our music and not so much to 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 take it as a as an effect you can say but to be really precise, to get this note, and and uh, and um, so therefore um, we take just these um, these approaches you find on this page. Okay, with this uh, pushing um, pushing the string towards the bridge or the nut, you have to be um, you have to be conscious about um, in which position you are on the guitar. Because if you are in a lower position, pushing the string in this direction to the bridge is always makes no sense. Because you have just this, this small part of the string which you are uh, like tightening to, to, to lower this part. You know, you, you have to stretch this, or I mean from here maybe you can, you can sing, um, this, uh, this string to, to make this uh, more loose. And this is just very little, so you can't. There's not not very much you can do, and also by doing this, you're also naturally you're also pressing the string, making it higher. So pushing the string towards the bridge, making making it lower, is is really not not possible here, it makes no sense. So, so you go higher, you go to, 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 to fifth or seventh or position or even higher, or fret, not position, like. So from here, it's okay. And then it's really getting more and more you can do it. The higher you are, the, the easier it is to, to make the string Lower, like for example, if you if you're very high, you can really do this. It's it's like a half step. Yeah, or here. Yeah, I mean it's still still some some work. The whole thing will be some some work you have to do to reach these microtones, um, but. Just remember, the higher the, 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 um, the position, the note on the fretboard, um, the easier it is to, to make it lower. Same goes the other way around, of course. If you are in a high position, oh, I mean, you, you, can, you, can, you can do this. And here also. Because this is already quite a distance here, um, so. But this te technique, um, pushing the, the string towards the nut, is not. We will not use too often. Okay. Um, this um, this is like a general rule, you can say that the finger, the fingers below the finger who is playing, which is playing, um, can always help. They can help to push the string. It should help. But they can also help in bending. If you just do it with, with, this, with one finger. So that's, that's also a reason why I, I, I'm not so oft... I'm, I'm bending and try to reach the microtones with the first finger. I, I mostly... I, I use the, the, the fourth and the third finger to, to reach them because then the other fingers, they can help the lower fingers. So, and this way, if they all helping, I mean, I can really go, I can really go very, very far, actually. So a half step or reaching the microtones is not, not so difficult anymore. General points, of course, uh, stay as relaxed as possible. That's some, sometimes we, we forget ourselves. 
um, when we play. So we play something and we don't really notice that that all these muscles and everything we are really tense to try to get the to get these uh, microtones or just play in general. Just always um, try to refocus to yourself to 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 be more more relaxed or try to sense any tension and then think about is this necessary is this tension necessary to play these notes good sometimes you also can use the the gravity you know you can only use gravity if you're relaxed otherwise it's not possible if you use muscle work gravity is not playing like any significant role anymore but sometimes strings are just notes are just a little higher so we have for example the the, um, the fifth um, comma from E is a kind of a higher version of an F and this F is, is here actually so it's this is a normal F and this is a higher version So if we really relax and we don't, uh, yeah, we, 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 we can just play this, this, uh, this sound by grabbing from, from above the string, from the top, and then just let our hand hang a bit, hang on the string. And by doing this, the string gets like bended a bit. So we can... I'm very loose here actually it's very very loose of course I have to press press the string and don't slip away from it but that's why I'm also grabbing from from above the string so from from here and not from from here um, but this gravity this relaxation is really actually the, the you can say the the weight of the arm is enough to play this this bit higher version of the F. Okay, don't use any vibrato. That's that's important if you if, if you work with a um, with these different tuning tones. Don't uh, uh, fool yourself by by playing a vibrato and so there's always you think oh it's a, that note, but really try to to. Um, <laughs> If I do this here, like I have this reference file, you, you go back to the um, lesson before, lesson f lesson four of Turkish classical music. You find this reference, and you you um, you can you can try to to get this fifth comma, and then you you control you you check it for control. Yeah, so it's almost. That's that's the note, and that's the whole whole fun and the whole idea of these reference tones. So you're really sure that's the correct pitch. That's the fifth comma away from fifth five commas away from the root. Okay, and the last point here, general points, try not to leave the um, normal left hand playing position. Of course, you don't want to want to think about like like uh, I don't know like like some some uh, blues guitarists they bend like 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 this, you know, to have the, the thumb here to 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 uh, to have this this grabbing. Uh, uh, movement but then it's very hard to to play all the other things uh, to to go on with with other with other stuff you know you have to always change hand position and this is something you you don't want you want to stay in the right playing position in the normal playing position that you're always able to react very quick to go to other notes to bend other strings to 
whatever comes to your mind. Also, Turkish classical music is a lot about improvisation. So it's not, it's not. Um, there are compositions which are fixed, of course, but um, like this taxi, this improvisation with using these materials of the Turkish. Uh, tonal system and this makam, the different scales and tetra and pentachords, it's, it's, it's highly uh, improvised, this music. All right, that's, that's it for today. I hope you liked this lesson. If you, if you enjoyed it, I, uh, I'm, I would be happy if you subscribe to my channel and also you can uh, support me to uh, you can donate go to my website guitar-academia.com there you find a button where you can donate so i can go on with these lessons making more and more and more and more and more and more interesting topics with you to share and you to enjoy so thank you for watching my name is hub hildenbrand